as you know this table has uh, three dozen and uh, this is dozen number one dozen number two and dozen number three but the strategy is to cover two dozen so that we can cover 24 number and our payback will be low but our frequency will be high and for a betting progression a positive progression uh, winning a bigger amount is not so important winning more number of spin is important so covering 24 number is quite fine so what we can do is we can go with the last number the previous number 22 we will cover that number so for 22 we will cover this area second dozen and we will leave the next immediate number 23 this is also in this area so leave it and uh, number 30 we will uh, not bash on the next immediate number rather we will back on opposite number so these are the two position in this way after every spin we have to choose the position and for batch progression uh, we will use the normal bat for progression as usual uh, we, we will start with 10 all each and if we lose it will be increased to 20 again lose it will be increased to 30 but at any point of time we win seem to repeat the previous amount suppose we win this uh, 30 or spin the next spin will be again 30 so in this way we will progress and as a thousand dollar is the bank roll it's uh, quite small as compared to 10 or bats not exactly 10 but at two position initial bet will be 20 and it might be increased uh, to even hundred dollar also at each position so uh, having a target is a small target is important so fifty dollars a target and a thousand bank road and bet size let's play the game so new number 27 so we'll put a bets over here next is a 22 so we we'll leave the second dozen 23 again leave the second dozen and next is 30 so we will not bet from 30 because 30 is already covered next is 11 so th these are the two positions and my objective is to make at least 50 dollar from this session so 21 this time it's a loss i think okay so new position 21 next is a 27 so leave that 27 so these are the two position and last spin was a loss so we have to increase the bets after every losing spin you have to increase and after every winning spin simply repeat and continue until you cover your losses and make the profit so it's a win so 12 is the number so we'll put the bets over here and the next is a 21 so we leave that 21 next is over here so these are the two position and the next last bet was a 20 so we'll repeat that 20 we will increase only when we lose so number five quite nice okay so it's a win so again we will stay with 20 dollar but uh, this is the position for number 5 12 is already covered and next number is 21 so we will leave this at 21 it means second dozen so here and we will go with same 20 dollar at both the position because last spin was a win so we are not going to increase the bets okay 25 this time quite nice so we have to change the position for 25 this is the position and uh, for 5 we will leave this area and next is here so 20 at both the position this is the way you can choose your bets okay 19 this time and it's a win so I think I have uh, covered my target my target was to make 50 but actually I make 60 so why this strategy is so useful because in if you play online then you can you have may have seen that uh, sometime a dozen will appear again and again and again so to get the benefit of that we will uh, cover the recent number and sometime we, we uh, found that a new dozen area will appear again and again so that that is the reason we will leave the immediate next dozen area so uh, when a dozen will repeat then also we'll get the benefit and when a dozen will uh, uh not repeat that means a new number new area will appear then also will get the benefit only problem is that uh, when every after every spin alternate dozen will appear from first dozen in the second dozen then third then second then first in this way then only there is a problem and uh, but that's not the real problem because you have uh, increasing the bats and that uh, difference between uh, losing spin and winning spin whenever we are losing we are losing with ten dollar 
but whenever we are winning in the next immediate spin, if we are winning 10 or more. That is the reason uh, we can cover the losses with this strategy. So let's uh, try for another session and uh, for now 23 is the new number so we will cover 23 over here. Next is 19 that is already covered with 23. Next is uh, 25. So we leave that 25 that means third dozen and uh, cover the first dozen area. So this is the arrangement for now. Okay, 34 this time it's a loss. So I have to increase the batch for 34. I have to cover this one. Next is 23. So we leave the second dozen. This is the area. So now the batch will be 20 at both the position. Earlier it was 10 and up loss. It has increased to 20. Okay, 24 again a loss. So I have to increase my batch for 30. This time it's 30. And one number is the 24, next is the 34, so we leave the third dozen area, so first dozen at 30. So 1060 was my initial uh, bankroll when I have started this session. I have to make another $50, so uh, 1110, 20, 30, anything will be fine. So this is a win with $30, so this is the position right now. For 2 and 24, we have to leave this 24, next is 34. So $30 at both the position. So having a bigger bank room and uh, starting a smaller batch is uh, quite enough for this kind of strategy. So one more loss, one more time I need to increase. For 22, I have to cover this 22 with the 40 this time. Earlier it was 30 and I used that 30 spin. So time to go for 40. Next number is a 2. So we will leave the first dozen. Here we will put $40. Okay, number 0. So loss. So whenever 0 will appear, simply repeat but increase the bets. No need to shift the position right now. 27 is a win, quite nice. So we win our $50 spin. So again, uh, for 27, we have to cover that third dozen. Next is zero, next is 22. So the next immediate number which we can cover is uh, this one, the first dozen area. Okay, 34, nice win. So after this win, uh, I have to stay with same amount, but I have to change the position for 34. I have covered the third dozen, 27 is also covered, leave number 0, 22, avoid the next number that is 22, so this is the position right now. Okay, number 2, quite nice. So again we can stay with the 20, sorry, 50 dollar spin, but uh, we have to change the position for 20. For sorry, 2, this is the bats, next is 34, so we leave that, 34 means third dozen, so second dozen we can cover. Okay, number 7, quite nice. Okay, so for now we will stay with same 50, for number 7 we will bat 50 and next number is 2 already covered, so 34. The next number so we will leave that 34 that means we have to go with second dozen area with same $50 bats okay again 0 has appeared so as I told you when 0 will appear what you need to do is simply repeat add extra $10 and continue no need to increase the bats over here okay 24 uh, this time it's a profit but uh, we have moved to $60 right now, so we will go with 60 for 24, the next is 0, so leave that 0, next is 7. Again we will leave that 7, that means first dozen, so this is the area for now. Okay, 30 this time, it's a win. And uh, I think I have achieved the target also, yeah. Okay, we have started with uh, 1060 this session and uh, we have achieved our $50 target for this session also. So definitely this strategy has the potential to give you the profit but the only thing is that you have to play 
with accuracy even if you miss to put your bats or to increase the bats then it will make a big difference so with proper uh, execution you can generate profit from this strategy also but before ending the video let me tell you why uh, you have to avoid uh, this kind of strategy in real table because in real table number are always random the concept of hitting the number again and again or the dozen again and again and uh, generating new number again and again is uh, only possible or only happens in uh, online table so for online table this kind of strategy is good but for real table uh, position really doesn't matter you can uh, go with same two dozen and same strategy increase after every losses and stay with same amount after win and uh, set a small target that can be work fine for uh, real table but for online table you have to keep changing the position again and again that is quite important and uh, uh, increasing the bets after losses will help you to cover the previous losses and to make profit so i hope you understand what exactly i need to explain about this video about this strategy so and uh, before ending the video let me tell you uh, roulette is a game of chance and with a proper strategy you can increase you can only increase the chance of winning that doesn't guarantee you that you can make lots of money from any kind of strategy so be careful and uh, avoid playing with a bigger amount on online table if you really want to enjoy the game then go for online table but for a bigger amount never go for online online is always uh, quite risky than real table. So thanks for watching and good luck for your next game.